all our T posts in the ground. Doing a little tour. I have to go to a couple of doctor's appointments today. I gotta fix that no trespassing sign. This is another property that's butt up to mine. My husband's cousin's property. Really, that part of the property was never to be sold out, but can't believe a white man because his ass said he wasn't going to sell that portion, and then he turned around to do that. Sold it off. <sighs> As you can see, there is no traffic in either direction for miles. Yep, so we're heading out to a different part of town. It's called Louisville, Georgia. Louisville, Georgia is basically the slave capital of the world. And what I mean by slave capital of the world, that means that millions and thousands of people were brought out to Georgia to be sold off as slaves. You can see in the background there's a bunch of cotton farms down there. This is the other section of town that's all residential. And where I live is agricultural. Because it's been rural land for over a thousand years. It's kind of nippy today, to tell you the truth. I woke up this morning. It was, my thermometer outside, outside said it was 32 degrees. Can you believe that? 32 degrees. Burr, burr, burr for me. I got that Florida blood. But you can't stay in Florida because Florida has become too crazy. Yep. This is the section of town I say, you know, this man. We had a big nasty storm the other day. You can see this pine tree. This pine tree just got uprooted from his hole and fell into the street. It's about a, I'd say 25 footer. It's not even premature, I mean, they should get this tall. They landed out there in the street. Big wind, a big wind um, storm came flying through. Halloween night, it was a nasty, very, very nasty. This is the only area you can't even go trick-or-treating out here. I mean, I'm from New York City. I left the five boroughs, moved to Florida in 2002, right after 9-11. Came down to Florida to start a better life and get a better life. Then I got tied up to some BS in the state of Florida. In, in my state, you would get a ticket, pay it off, and call it a day. Not in the state of Florida. They're the Florida like to hang everybody and anybody that comes into that state. They make their own rules down there. I miss Florida. I sure do. I miss the hustle. I miss, like, things you could get into anything. Every single day you could get into something in the state of Florida. Now, this is the old school I passed by yesterday. You can see more from the front of it. Remember I said this was an the only school for all the residents in this small area from 1920s that school was first opened to 2015. They're from New York. These people right here, they're from Queens, New York. Jamaica, Queens. My old, my little stopping grounds. Yep, I'm coming out of my little section of town right now. I wonder if she moved her cattle over. That would be nice just to show you guys a piece of cattle. There's that busted down house. They got tires on top of the roof. Like, is that going to keep the roof together? I don't know. Yeah, there's some out there, but not where 
They're normally right here by the fence in the morning. This woman here owns over 75 acres of land. This land she sits on is 75 acres. <coughs> Her husband was a big hog farmer. And the more hogs he sold, the more money he was able to get to purchase all this land. He was making payments on it. Now they own it. Her husband's been deceased for many years. But yeah, it's nice to have a lot of land. Oh, I'll wait until this car passes. Georgia is a hands-free state, so you got to be careful that you... That you... Uh, don't get caught with your cell phone in your hand because people around here like to turn people in they're just nosy people I'm from the city you want to be nosy you're going to get shot <laughs> plain and simple let's see over here oh we got some animals those are the animals I've been trying to show you here's some long horns babies I gotta start hauling because there's big tractors coming up my way in the back. This is a national highway, 55 miles an hour. I'll show you where my landowner lives. You see this house coming up? This is where my landowner lives. The guy, he owns all this land. I show you, he owns all this land. I show you where he ends. Boom, right here he ends. And it goes all the way straight down to the river. He has his own river called George, uh, what is it called? Brandon River Walk. It's always on YouTube. They're always looking for people to buy back there. I would. I was looking at it to buy, but you're so close to the water. You got water moccasins. You got rats. You got all kinds of animals out there. So yeah. So I'm still considering the city of Midville until I hit this cemetery called Clear Springs Cemetery where where it got its name was it used to be a lot of clear streams out here but the pollution of America and the earth has totally destroyed the area so the clear streams now are murky streams I mean I'm sure probably back in the early 50s it was clear streams 40s or whatever but it is what it is this is 100% farming community out here. And I hate when a bitch rides up my ass because I am not going no more than 50 miles an hour. You know, the speed limit is 55, but a lot of people want to do 70, 80 miles an hour, and I don't feel like that's where you're going to get to. You can get around me. I don't have to ride my ass, they ain't gonna make me go any faster, that's for sure. This is a pecan farm. Um, they grow cotton, pecan, and they have some other stuff back there, but their main harvest is cotton and pecans. I don't think we're gonna have a good pecan season at all. I mean, pecans will produce food every seven years. And then they'll produce food for the first seven years. And then it stops producing. And then it'll start reproducing again. 95% of the time you have to replant new pecan trees. Finally, mother. Produce new pecan trees. So, I mean, what's the point of fucking speeding? This asshole was on my ass for a hot minute. What are you riding my ass for? This past Clear Springs. Yeah, I like to put them on post because 
there is no reason to be out here speeding. It's 55 miles an hour. You're in, you gotta get somewhere hot and fast. It's amazing, out here they'll speed like crazy. But in the city they'll drive so slow, like they're so scared. Huh. Not me, I don't like wasting my gas. There's no reason for me to speed. Now, if I was in the city, I was I would be a speed demon. So I'm going to turn right here on Highway 17, and I'm heading to Louisville, Georgia. And here is some interesting stuff on this block. So I'm going to start a new um, video so you guys could see it. We got that white stuff is cotton. Yes, that's your American cotton. And then we got some bulls in here, which I can drive real slow on this road here. Babies! Hi, babies! Yeah, see, they look at me. Oh, look at the little babies out there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, they're so cute. Oh, that's cotton. Cotton is being produced real early this year. We got a hot, hot summer out here. 95% of all farmers' wells went dry out here because of the heat. Okay, well, I'm going to start part two because I want to show you some amazing slave houses down here on this road. Okay, have a good day. I'll see you for part two.